Go Mustang. The Coach Alexander Show, brought to you by Kim Assad, your real estate broker. Hello, Mustang Nation. Matt Carnes, Grapevine Booster here for week two of the Coach Mike Alexander Show with Grapevine Head Coach Mike Alexander. Coach, welcome to the show this week. Coming off a big week in Abilene with Cooper, tell us what it was like in Shotwell on Friday night. Well, it was uh, it was bittersweet. You know, it was a uh, it was a nice homecoming. I hadn't been there since two thousand and four when I was an assistant coach. Uh, I knew it was going to be an exciting night, and uh, it didn't disappoint. You know, it was a great experience for our kids. Um, you know, anytime you you drive out to Shotwell Stadium, you you got to be ready to play, and uh, their community supports football really well. And uh, it was an electric environment, and and our kids. Uh, I think played really hard. You know, we made some critical errors down the stretch that, that probably cost us the game. But all things that, you know, from a young team that we're going to learn from, it's going to make us better down the road. Well, I got to visit a little bit with some of the coaches on the night before the game. And uh, they didn't say much, but you just kind of got the feeling coming off last year's mm -hmm. game here when they got beat so bad. You could just kind of detect a little bit of chomping at the bit. But y'all came out strong and fast, and yeah. you had them going, had it going your way early. Yeah. Talk about that. Well, you know, we we felt like we had a good game plan, and we felt like our kids were ready to play, and um, and I, I and I believe that that both those things were true. Um, you know, we we did. We started off fast. We scored first, and uh, they answered, and then we answered with a kickoff return from uh, Jordan Brooks West, and and uh, it was one of those things where. We knew we had to start fast because if you're in a hostile environment and you you know you don't take control of the game early, it can get out of hand. And uh, we did we did what we needed to do early. We just weren't able to withstand it throughout the four quarters. Well, speaking of, of Jordan's Brook, Brooks West, let's talk about a couple of his plays on the opening drive. He got Allen found him at the one yard line for a uh, really nice catch right there. And, uh, of course, he followed it up shortly, but talk about how important it was to get that opening drive in the end zone. Well, you know, even prior to that, uh, that long throw and catch, our kids did a great job of uh, just taking what the defense was giving us. You know, Coach Bishop and, and Allen, they, uh, you know, they didn't get greedy. Um, they kept everything in front. Uh, you know, they were, they were playing soft on defense, and we just kept throwing the ball underneath. They were running Roshan off the edge. and. And uh, we were getting, you know, getting first downs. And so that helped us get into the flow of the game. And then, you know, right there, that play we just watched, uh, Jordan gets behind the secondary, which he can do because he's, uh, he's a very talented kid. You know, he's got a lot of speed. And, and uh, Allen put a nice ball up, and we were able to convert and get the ball down to the one. And then, you know, Cole Stevens going to run it in a couple plays later. Well, I uh, actually – told him that morning that uh, number two, which is a number near and dear to our heart because our son wore that number last year, that it's a it's a big number to, to have on the field for the Grapevine Mustangs. And uh, talked to his dad after the breakfast champions, and he said, you just watch. Number two's going to deliver this week. And boy, he did. <laughs> so, um, so Cole gets that touchdown. Mm -hmm. Then you have a few more plays um, that transpired. And here coming up soon, we're going to see Jordan Brooks West on that kickoff return for the touchdown. Talk about what a impact that can have on the long game. Well, we told our kids we we're going to score on kickoff return. Um, you know, this is something that we we spend a lot of time on in practice. Uh, throughout the course of a week, we're probably going to spend 20 minutes a, a week on you know running kickoff return, and and uh, it was just a to total team effort. You know, um, everybody doing their assignment, and getting their blocks, and then when you, you know, when you get a body on a body, and Jordan can get the ball in space, he's deadly. And uh, we're fortunate enough to, to everybody execute on that particular play, and it, you know, it laid out just like we wanted it to, and punched it in the end zone. So that's a, you know, it's a big deal anytime you return a kick for a touchdown, especially on the road. You need things like that to happen, you know, to you when you're on the road to keep the game. Uh, especially against a good team, you know, to, to keep the game tight or even go ahead early. and it, It's an important fa facet of the game. Well, that is, and, and uh, we'll meet up uh, coming up soon with a couple of the other young men, Chandler Clark and Patrick Bowman, that also had big games. But uh, it wound up being a little bit of a tough finish. Talk about how the size and everything else with Abilene just <clears throat> took over in the end. Well, you know, they they run a lot of different personnel groupings, and they uh, – they, their plan is to run the football at you. 
and we had to expend a lot of energy and a lot of bodies to uh, to prohibit them from you know gaining gaining first downs on the ground. And in doing so, you know, it puts our defensive backs in a little bit of a uh, stressful situation. And that was one of those matchups where they had two really talented uh, wide receivers. Uh, one was six five, uh, the other one was six three. And uh, we were just a little bit outmatched in, you know, in, in terms of size. And there were times when we had really good coverage and quarterback threw a nice ball and we just kind of get boxed out and kid would come down with the pass. And, you know, you got to tip your hat to these guys over at Cooper. Um, they had a good game plan. Their quarterback played a really, really uh, sound football game, didn't turn the ball over um, through the air. And, um, you know, they were able to make enough plays. Handoff, Whitfield cuts right, breaks a tackle, still on his feet, and then the ball's loose at the 16. Mustangs have it. It was Patrick Bowman who fell on the football, and Grapevine forces their first turnover of the year. The Mustangs have the ball at the 16 of Abilene Cooper. We're going to meet Patrick Bowman here in a little while. They did have to go to the air a lot, and you talk about keeping them below 100 yards rushing, which doesn't happen to them very often. Mm -hmm. Talk about Patrick Bowman and the rest of those linebackers and everybody else and how much they had to fight just to get accomplished what they did. Well, you know, those guys play with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Um, everybody has an opinion about last year's front seven and how good they were, and they were a really talented group, and they all graduated. And uh, so this group that we have this year – you know, they do, they play with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder and they want to prove to everybody that, that they can play good run defense as well. And, and, they, and they showed that the other night, you know. Um, we're not happy with the outcome, but I was pleased with our run defense overall. And uh, there's, some, there's some things that we can clean up in terms of getting lined up perfectly. You know, we misaligned a few times here and there, but for early in the season, for a young unit like we have, um, I'm not displeased with where we are defensively. Uh, like I said earlier, you know, we, we went up against a really talented offensive unit in Cooper, and uh, they did a good job, and, you know, hats off to them. Well, Patrick, of course, the future U.S. Marine, uh, wins the fight award this week, and you can see why he wants to be a Marine. Mm -hmm. He'll definitely be a good one. Talk about Chandler Clark and the attitude award that he got this week and what he was uh, doing to help the team down the stretch. Man, Chandler's just such an amazing kid, you know. Um, he's our center, you know, he's the – He's the core of what we're doing in the offensive line. And, um, you know, every play has to start with a good snap. And uh, we take it for granted, everybody does. But uh, Chandler's, you know, he's money on his snaps. He's, uh, he's a guy that you can leave by himself and, and block one-on-one -on -one at times with a, you know, with a above average nose guard. And, and uh, you know, he's just, he's just a solid football player for us. And, and the attitude that he brings to our offensive line is one of, uh, it's no nonsense. It's business. You know, he, he keeps those guys on pace and on track, and uh, we, we value his leadership greatly. Well, and they've, they've done a good job this year, so it's, it's good to see what they're doing, and congratulations to him on getting the Attitude Award mm -hmm. this week. So you're moving on. we got Frisco Heritage at 7 p.m., not 7.30 p.m., mm -hmm. at the Toyota Stadium in Frisco. Tell us what we're looking for upcoming with the Frisco Heritage team. Well, um, you know, I've been studying a whole lot of their offense, and um, they are—they have an incredible athlete that they snap the ball to at quarterback. And you know, he's not a traditional uh, pocket passer like uh, like the kid we saw last week, or like Alan Bowman that we see every day in practice. He's more of a true athlete that's catching the snap, and they're going to design a lot of quarterback runs for him and and give him a lot of run pass options and. So we've got to we've got to really be glued in defensively, and everybody's got to do their job and do their assignment. Uh, otherwise, he can get loose and he can, he can take it the distance on every single snap because he's the one catching it, you know. So uh, that's going to be our challenge uh, defensively is stopping him. And then um, you know offensively, we're going up against a defense in Frisco Heritage that is much improved. Last year we scored 63 points. I think one was on defense, but. Uh, we scored a lot of points against them last year, but you know they've uh, they've got a new scheme. They're running on defense. Their kids are playing with a renewed energy. Uh, they're much better. So uh, we got our work cut out for us. We just have to focus on what we do, um, not try and recreate the will or anything. We just got to execute and go out there and play a solid game for four quarters this week, 
you know, not three and a half. We've got to play all four quarters, and hopefully we'll walk away with the win. Well, good luck to you Friday night, 7 p.m., not 7.30, at the Toyota Stadium up in Frisco, and we will see you next week. Handoff, Whitfield cuts right, breaks a tackle, still on his feet, and then the ball's loose at the 16. Mustangs have it. It was Patrick Bowman who fell on the football, and Grapevine forces their first turnover of the year. The Mustangs have the ball at the 16 of Abilene Cooper. We're here with Grapevine Mustang inside linebacker Patrick Bowman. Patrick, it was a big night out in Abilene, and I know they've got some big guys out there. But you got the fight award for the Grapevine Mustang defense this week. Tell us about the uh, ball game and what it took to get that fight award. Uh, well, for me, it all started in practice. I mean, we had a game plan, and it was all about focusing and preparing for them in practice. I knew what I was going to be going up against during the game. In the game, well, I just, like, took practice in the game. I just applied it. I mean, we all had a job to do, and that was my job. I was just going to do as best I can to help out the team. Well, Abilene Cooper is known as a – football team that has a lot of big running backs and gets a lot of yards, but not this week with you in the middle of it. Tell us what y'all did to stop the defensive, uh, run, or defensively to stop the running game. Uh, just We just had to play downhill. I mean, <clears throat> Coach hit us hard with that. Play downhill as hard as you can and fit tight as hard as you can. And when the running backs come in there, you got to get low. Well, you've got uh, a big future ahead of you as a United States Marine. Tell us about looking forward to being a, a Marine. Uh, well, I'm just uh, – Really just looking about giving back to my community and serving my country and doing the best I can with that. Well, that's a big part of it. We appreciate it. We're very proud of you for doing that, and good luck to you in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. We're here with Grapevine Center Chandler Clark. Chandler, it was a big night out in Abilene. You got the Attitude Award this week. Tell us what it took to get the Attitude Award, and tell us what it was like out in Abilene. Well, uh, you know, the coaches during practice and, uh, you know, pretty much always they're telling us that we need to uh, kind of the first thing um, – for success is uh, attitude. You know, you, when you go out to the field, you know, we start early. So, uh, you know, he's always telling us, you know, before we you know, can really be successful, you got to go out there with uh, the right attitude. And so I just try to bring that, you know, like to the game. You know, things kind of got out of hand, you know, and uh, we had a chance to, uh, well, uh, they scored late and, um, you know, they got went up and, you know, I could kind of see some people were uh, kind of, their heads started to go down. I didn't want them to, I didn't want to, you know, I'm a really competitive guy. I want to win. So uh, I want to make sure that uh, everyone had the right attitude going in so we could, you know, uh, go in and be successful and, you know, score. You know, I just want everyone to be on the – have the right mindset to be successful. And I think, you know, attitudes – like positive attitudes is the right way to go about that. Well, it is a big a big part of it. Well, congratulations to get that award this week and go do it again this week in Frisco. All right, well, thank you. Go Mustang. The Coach Alexander Show brought to you by Kim Asad, your real estate broker.